says that the fabric of space is nice and flat if there's nothing there, no stars, no planets, which would mean that if an object rolls through that environment, say this is a comet or a planet, it will go in a nice straight line trajectory. But the key thing is Einstein says that if we have a heavy, massive object like the sun, Einstein says that the sun merely by being within the fabric of space causes the fabric to curve, to warp. And then other objects like the planets, the Earth, Mars, and so forth, he says, they go into orbit because they're rolling along the curved environment that the sun creates. This, according to Einstein, is how gravity is communicated from the sun to the Earth, to Mars, to the other planets. This is how gravity works. Question number one, Alec. Why is it the Earth spiraling into the sun? Yeah, exactly, right? When you look at the marbles, they're all spiraling into our yellow shot put here. So would that happen to the Earth? Why doesn't the Earth spiral into the sun? Well, the answer is these marbles are spiraling in because they're losing energy because of their frictional interaction with the spandex. In empty space, there is virtually no friction at all, so planets hardly lose any energy. Now, they actually do lose a little bit because the planets can cause the fabric of space to ripple a little bit. We call it gravitational radiation. So if you were to wait about 10 to the 20 years, 100 billion billion years, if the Earth is still here, it will, in fact, spiral into the sun. All right, guys, so that's all for today from the Day Green Science Lab, Science at Home. Yo. All right, see ya.